I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. The January 6th committee held a hearing Thursday focused on Trump's Justice Department in the days after the 2020 election. Chairman Benny Thompson highlighted a quote, pressure campaign to get the DOJ to give credibility to false claims of voter fraud. The Mississippi Democrat praised Trump appointees who resisted the former president's desires. This hearing comes right after the Justice Department searched the home of Jeffrey Clark, a lawyer who Trump wanted to replace Acting Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen, as he sought to overturn the results of the election. Take a listen to Thompson's opening remarks. Committed to investigate the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol will be in order. Without objection, the chair is authorized to declare the committee in recess at any point. Pursuant to House Deposition Authority Regulation 10, the chair announces the committee's approval to release the deposition material presented during today's hearing. Good afternoon. In our previous hearings, the select committee showed that then President Trump applied pressure at every level of government, from local election workers up to his own vice president hoping public servants would give in to that pressure and help him steal an election he actually lost. Today, we'll tell the story of how the pressure campaign also targeted the federal agency charged with enforcement of our laws, the Department of Justice. We are already covered part of Mr. Trump's effort. We heard from Attorney General Bill Barr tell the story and the, the committee about the baseless claims Mr. Trump wanted the Justice Department to investigate, and that Mr. Barr viewed those claims as nonsense. Today, we'll hear from Jeffrey Rosen, the person Mr. Trump appointed to run the Justice Department after Attorney General Barr resigned. We'll hear from other senior Justice Department officials also. Together, these public servants resisted Mr. Trump's effort to misuse the Justice Department as part of his plan to hold on to power. And we will show that Trump's demands that the department investigate baseless claims of election fraud continued into January 2021. But Donald Trump didn't just want the Justice Department to investigate, he wanted the Justice Department to help legitimize his lies, to basically call the election corrupt, to appoint a special counsel to investigate alleged election fraud, to send a letter to six state legislatures urging them to consider altering the election results. And when these and other efforts fail, Donald Trump sought to replace Mr. Rosen the acting attorney general, with a lawyer who he believed would inappropriately put the full weight of the Justice Department behind the effort to overturn the election. Let's think about what that means. Wherever you live in the United States, there's probably a local government executive, a mayor, or a county commissioner there's also an official responsible for enforcing the laws, a district attorney or a local prosecutor. Imagine if your mayor lost a re-election bid, but instead of conceding the race, they picked up the phone, called the district attorney, and said, I want you to say this election was stolen. I want you to tell the Board of Elections not to certify the results. That's essentially what Donald Trump was trying to do with the election for President of the United States. It was a brazen attempt to use the Justice Department to advance the President's personal political agenda. Today, my colleague from Illinois, Mr. Kinzinger, and other witnesses will walk through the Select Committee's findings on these matters. But first, I recognize our distinguished vice chair.